What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Today is Today is going to be a come along with me. No. What did I say? Oh yeah, day in the life of a tattoo artist, whatever, clickbait, cool. I just woke up. I don't know why you're so hot. I have um I have to go to work, so I'm just going to get ready to go along with my day. Um, I know I'm doing a cool like spiderweb elbow type situation. Um, and I feel like I'm coming out of my manic episode, so, or the opposite of manic, my depressive episode, so, there's that. I'm going to wear my signature high-waisted shorts. That's about all I know so far. Yes, this robe is hideous and does not match my aesthetic. If somebody wants to send me a pink robe, I will greatly appreciate it. Alright. Just looked like I had leftover makeup from yesterday. Alright, let me get dressed and I will be alright back. Alright, well I was trying to prop y'all up. My whole curtain fell. Alright guys, I told you we are going super simple, so this is where we're at. You can also see me. Every day when I wake up, fun fact, I literally have to clean my room so fast because it gives me such anxiety. It's like a really weird OCD thing, I don't know. But, here we go. I will hop back on when I'm doing my makeup. Alright guys, so I had to hurry up and do my makeup and I didn't have time to set up my ring light and stuff like that. So I am now at work. Um, I am about to draw up a tattoo for my first appointment and I'm probably going to time lapse that. So. Finished the tattoo. I showed y'all um, the web one, which first of all, 
now that we're out of the shop, let's talk. I was so stressed out because, so she sent me that picture on Pinterest. And so when somebody sends me that, like if they, unless they want like something tweaked to it, like I'll just print that image and then I'll you I'll just like trace over it on the other piece of paper using my light thing that I showed y'all. Um, the sky is so pretty right now. Oh my God. Well, let me not crash and die. Um, but she wanted a heart in the center, but she didn't want it like drawn out. Like, I don't know. Long story short, I had to like freehand draw it onto her, which is not my strong suit. I don't enjoy having to, what's well, that I don't enjoy? Like, I'm not a hundred percent confident doing that. Um, y'all are very aware that I'm not like a huge drawer. I'm definitely, I've got to show y'all this guy. I am so sorry. It is so pretty. Y'all see that it's pink? Look how pretty that is. God is so good. Okay. My strong suit is not drawing. So I was very nervous, but I mean, I was happy with how it came out, like drawing it on the skin. And then I've got a promotion right now for October. I um, I don't know if y'all have seen that I drew up um, flash, like a flash sheet. I did it for um, Friday the 13th. I drew up a flash sheet and it went really, really, really well. I just did 40 bucks, um, a tattoo, and I think I talked about that to y'all. Um, 40 bucks tattoo, and I don't schedule anything. It's just first come, first serve. And that went really, really well. So I'm doing it for Halloween. So the Friday, the 29th, I'm doing another flash sheet. But if they schedule a tattoo, if they had scheduled a tattoo in October for something over $200, um, I let, I'm letting them get one of the flash for free. So I put on the flash sheet one little like flower because I know that some, the rest are like heavily um, like Halloween spooky vibes. And I know that a lot of people aren't like into that. And so I put that little flower there knowing that if you aren't into spooky things, like at least you still have an option. Um, so I went ahead and added that to uh, a prior tattoo she already had of a random flower on her arm. So that looked adorable there and you know, one thing I can say, like, confidently that I'm doing right is, like, because y'all know how much anxiety and anxious and, like, every person I tattoo comes back. And that is, like, something that I'm, like, okay, something, like, that is good. Like, I'm so proud of the fact that everybody leaves so happy that, like, so excited to come back and, like, they really do. And that just makes me so, so happy. Um... I really want to like paint uh, either the back of the door or a wall pink because I realized that I really want to have like a signature backdrop for when I post my pictures of the tattoos. I want um I want to be able to have like that a pink little setup to where they can stand in front of and I can take the really good pictures. But that way my tattoo page can like have the pink aesthetic as well because right now everything else in my life does. Um, Yeah, I definitely want more Sailor Moon stuff. I'm just rambling at this point. Anyway, so I had another appointment that was supposed to be at 6 o'clock, but um, they canceled, but oh well. Because the first tattoo ran a little long anyway, but. And then Daniel called, and apparently he got in an accident. He's fine, but I guess because he lives, um, like, He's on he drives highway all day, every day. So I guess everybody started breaking all of a sudden and he couldn't slow down in time. So prayers for him. Hopefully he won't wake up super sore tomorrow and then we've gotta figure out, you know, he's gotta figure out the car thing now. This is a shirt's probably gonna go up, so I know my poor baby is stressed out right now. Um side note, I don't know if y'all knew this, but well I guess I don't talk about my man often, but I think it was the third date we ever went on. We got in an accident. We were at his house and we were hungry and he's the typical man. So instead of ordering um, pizza for delivery, he was like, well, we could just go pick it up and not have to like tip or whatever. So we went 
and we got in a car accident and I like barely know him and I was so scared and I was two hours from my house because I've told y'all like we're a long distance and plot twist he handled it so well maturely as as like as stupid as it sounds like he handled it so well and it was so attractive that like I really think that's what like made us like move along so fast because he was just like I don't know I don't know anyway look at my earring this ear is good now I got him to change um this so I actually like enjoy that piercing now I am gonna get a conch either do it myself or get my boss to do it and then this ear is done this ear wompity womps womperson this ear looks so lame but I did get him to put in a good expensive um, conch piece so I'm gonna do four diamonds up and then I'm gonna get three hoops I'm gonna have a sparkle hoop up here and then two silver ones and then this ear will be complete as well <sighs> obviously I'm hyper now y'all probably think I'm so crazy oh here's my dad That is not my dad. Who the hell is it? Oh, it's Dawn. I'm over here talking to my YouTube. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm disturbing you. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. That was definitely not my aunt. I mean, that was not my dad. That was my aunt. Um, but yeah, let me know if y'all enjoyed these videos. Um, Hopefully y'all can tell I'm feeling much better. I feel like I'm getting my spunk back, which means I'm coming out of this depressive ed episode. And now if y'all know anything about BPD or major depressive disorder, it feels like I am now in a manic swing. So now I will be super hyper, super energy for a couple weeks, hopefully. And then we'll be right back to the downswing. But I'm going to put up that video about mental health and living with BPD. I'm just riding the wave and happy that I'm feeling better. Whew. Yeah. I need to get out these pants. Definitely let me know if content like this makes y'all happy because it's really, like, if I could just take y'all along with my days and, like, y'all enjoy that, that'll be really good because I can just, um, like, that can be consistent, but... Um, I guess day in the life of tattoo artists is kind of similar to like a weekly vlog, but I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs too. So I definitely appreciate y'all. I appreciate the messages, the personal messages I got on Instagram after my last video. Um, y'all were super, super kind and I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.